welcome to our last week of learning in your second grade book. It has been a journey. You all are doing well. You can always re, um, review and look back at your work and your book. That's your book forever. And we are going to start strong with subtraction and we're subtracting all week. So let's look here at drawing a model to solve. So remember how we can show this first number? We can do 800s. My glue doesn't seem to be working. Oh, there we go. 800s, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800. We have our three tens and our two ones. And we are subtracting 513. So when I look at, right here, when I look at the fact that I have two ones and I wanna take three ones, I see that I cannot do that. If I have two cookies, I cannot eat three. So I'm going to move a 10 here. It's no longer going to be in this 10s place. I'm going to move it over to the 1s place. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So now I have 12 here. I just regrouped it. So I can actually take away those three that I wanted to. 1, 2, Three. So I have how many left here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have nine ones. Now here, there are two tens, and I want to take away one ten. I know here it looks like I had three, but remember we took that one away and regrouped it. So I just have these two. And right here in this number, I just want to take away one. So I'll take away one ten, which will leave me with one ten. And here I have eight hundred, and I want to take away five hundred. So I'll take away one, two, three, four, five. So I have three hundred left. So my number is three hundred nineteen. That's my answer there. Now, I'm going to use standard form here. Remember, I try to do a pattern for those who like standard form or want to be familiar with standard form. So I'll put 957 on top, my larger number on top, and 633 on the bottom. So this is set up pretty nicely because 7 minus 3 I can actually do that. If I have seven and I wanna take away three, I can just take away one, two, three. And I have four left. And remember, you can always check yourself. Is four plus three, seven? Yes. Five minus three. If I have five and I take three away, I would get two. Check yourself. It's two plus three, five. Yes. Nine minus six. If I have nine and I take away six, that would be three left. So, the reason why I said it the way I said it is because that's the way most people subtract. But remember, this was seven minus three because they were ones. So I have four ones. 50 minus 30, <clears throat> which would give me 20. Two tens. 900 minus 600, which would give me 300. So my answer here is 324. 
here, I'm going to use expanded form to help us see. 723. See how I expanded out that number? And I'm going to expand out this number. 148. Already, I see in my ones place, if I have three cookies, I'm not going to be able to eat eight of them. I only have three, so I can't eat eight. So I'm going to have to move a 10 here. So here I have two 10s. Here I have two 10s, and I want to move one 10 here. If I move one 10 here, that will leave 110 here. So this was 23, and I regrouped it, so it's still 23. 10 plus 13 is 23. Now right here, again, I have 10 and 40. If I have 10 pieces of cake, I'm not going to be able to feed 40 guests. So I will have to regroup again. This 100 goes there. This would be 600. So it was 710, and I regrouped it, and it still looks like 710. 600 plus 110 is 710. So now I can subtract 13 minus 8. See, I need two more to get to eight, to 10. Two more to get to 10, and three more. That would be five. Eight plus five is 13. Here, a lot of people like to make it look like 11 minus four. See how it looks like 11 minus four? But we know that's 110 minus 40. So that would give me 70. So even if you did that 11 minus 4 and you got 7, then you know your zeros are here because it's the tens place. Now here, I have 600 minus 100, which would give me 500. So this is the expanded form. If I put my answer, it would be 575. Here we are filling in a piece of a hundreds chart on a Monday. I wanted to make our Mathematic Monday fun. So here, remember, up and down, it's my tens place. So I'm going subtracting, going up here, 748. Adding, going down. So that was 40, 50. 768, 778. So you should see that your tens place is changing. 40, 50, 60, 70. Now left to right, remember it's our ones place. 757, 759, 767, 769. It follows the same pattern. So I love this shape. Always makes me think of like a spaceship. <laughs> the old video game, the old arcade game where you have a bunch of spaceships. So here, 52. Remember, if I go down, my tens place is going up. 60. Two. If I go up, my tens place is subtracting. 42. Now I'm going this way. 43, 44. Going up one. Here, it's not 40. It'll be 33. Going down this way, I have 54 and 64. Notice your pattern.
That's why I love this fill in the hundreds chart because it really shows you the pattern. So here, which makes this mathematic, is we have unknowns in all different places. So I gave you some vocabulary, the menuend, the subtrahend, and the difference. The difference is your answer in a subtraction equation. So when you're ever asked, what is the difference between? You're subtracting and you're getting that answer. So the menuend is always that larger number. The subtrahend is what you are taking from that larger number. And as we said, the difference is that answer. So here, I have my menuend. That's the, that's the big group. I have 10 apples. I'm going to take away some and end up with five. So if I have 10 apples, how many would I have to take away to end up with five? I would have to take away five. 10 minus five is five. Here I need my menu and I'm looking for that bigger number. So I would add these two. Nine minus three is six. This is how we normally see subtraction problems. Eight minus two, that would give me six. Here again, I have seven pieces of gum. I give some to my friends. I have three left. So if I have seven and I take away some number, I will have three left, four. And I can prove that that's correct because four plus three is seven. Eight minus one, that's how we usually see problems. Seven. One minus what would give me zero? If I have one, how much do I need to take away to give me zero? Just one. Hmm. Here I'm taking two away and I'm gonna end up with two. What could I take away, take two away from and end up with two? Four, because four minus two is two. Same thing here. I'm gonna end up with two, but I have to take three away from a number. Five. Five minus three is two. Excellent job today manipulating numbers. So proud of you. Hi, my budding geniuses. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you have your book so you can follow along. Practice on your own for 15 minutes and then log in to review the lesson. Remember, there's a purpose for your life. If you stay focused, you can say, oh, yay me. I understand. See you tomorrow. Bye now.